presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Bookerton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. Feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 23, NASDAQ is down 210, SP's off 23, gold contract down $8.70, trading at 17.76 an ounce. We have silver down 43 cents, $21.95 an ounce, light sweet crude. Down a buck seventy-five, $70.60 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year, up six ticks, trading 130.13. The 30 are up 16 at 161.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up at 345 ticks, trading 96.240. Euro is at 112. Yen is at 113.5. And, and the British pound is trading at here at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're backing down here, and you're backing down with really light volume. So that's telling me that we're not down on the way up yet. Um, you know, we've been talking about. Well, let's go where the high is first. So we made a high out here with seventy-two million. Uh, the top of the high in the spy was four seventy-three. Uh, 56, 54, you came down hard, we exploded with volume on the way down, you got into the lower range, and then you rejected price, okay? So you got right back in the higher range. You had a monster day out here on with Tuesday. Um, that being said, my take is that that's a counter trend bounce in a, in a bear rally, actually. That's, that's the bottom line. That being said, yesterday you got to a higher high, huge contraction of volume. Okay, so we, we contracted the 72 million day before, of course, is 95. Now look what you're doing today, though. You're going down with 39 million. So we're going to do about 50 million. When that happens, folks, the, the, the highs aren't finished yet. That's, that's how it looks to me. That's your S&P. Now, the NDX 100 is different. It, the, I suspect it's not done going up. That being said, though, it's still trading differently. So... What you have with the NDX is this. The, yesterday, we, we got to a high with 39 million. You're doing 38 right now. You're still backing down with light volume. That's the real bottom line. And I suspect what this is about is whatever is going to happen tomorrow morning when the, when the inflation numbers come out. Because it looks to me like this thing, you know, wants to go hit 399 again. You're at 394. You're down five and a half dollars. So pretty wild. Some of the oh okay so now let's go let's go to notes and bonds. So we got our notes and bonds next. We take a look at notes and bonds and we're gonna see what notes and bonds they still want higher price. It's pretty amazing actually. But bottom line, you know the ten year rejected one twenty nine thirty one today. You're at one thirty thirteen. This is after two breaks topside. You had the first break topside, the sign of strength, um, November fourteenth through the sixteenth. You had the next one on December. I mean, November 20th to the uh, 27th. That's, those are two big signs of strength, man. That's saying that the 10-year wants to run up to 133. 
Uh, right now, the yield on the 10-year is 1.48. King dollar, what do we have? King dollar went down 400 and something ticks yesterday. It's back up there. You back, you took back what you have. This, my take, we'll, we'll see how this shakes out. Now, when you don't have volume, it's a lot harder to basically look at a chart. To, for me, it's, it's a lot harder to look at a chart and figure out where it's going. And with currencies, you don't have volume. But my take, see, if we had volume, my take would be, see this right in here? Is that that would be building cause for the lower price. And the way that you would know that, okay, is the as you go down, the volume would expand. Actually, let me go look at the UUP. So the UUP, th this is not the be all end all, but this is, this is something to watch. You, because the UUP is long the dollar and it does have volume. Let me just look at this. So, okay, so UUP, you're, okay, so we made a high out here. Let's see how this shakes out. You made a high out here with a million shares. You came down with two million. You're going, we just tested that. Oh, look at that. We just tested that with 3.2.7 million. And then you went down with, yeah, this is saying the dollar's not done either. Yeah, I'd say, well, when I look at this, this is, gets interesting, man, because when I look at this, this is saying the dollar is not building costs for a lower price. Looks like I want to go test this high again. Now, granted, this is only, uh, well, 500,000 shares today. It's not bad. It really is not bad. Um, and what this does do, this is, this follows, okay, so the dollar index is 49% of it. Government bonds are 36% of it. More money, 40% of it. It's a toss-up, man. Yeah. Uh, NVDA, yeah, let's go take a look at it. Uh, so you got NVIDIA, NVIDIA out here. Uh, you get a monster consolidation. You're down twelve and a half dollars. Um, that's that light volume too, you know. So I mean, you might spike into this. I suspect the two eighties game again, and we'll see whether it holds. Um, you know, there's no doubt that Nvidia to me is a nosebleed territory. You know, because Nvidia, if you're fundamentalist, you're still paying um, next year seventy dollars for one dollar of earnings. It's like really. I mean, this is an equity that has done phenomenal. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you're talking about five years ago, you did 6.9 billion, and this year you're gonna do 26 billion. So there's no doubt you can see the acceleration is huge. Uh, that being said though, watch, I, if I can watch we do this, I'll put this back. If I take this and then put this back, I'm gonna put it back five years. No, I'll put it back 10. And I'll, I'll just go back six. And so we go back six, so watch this. Yeah, so you go, you, yeah, this is, doesn't even make any sense. You go back six years ago in the stock, folks, and the bottom line, you had $3.49. Wow. That is sick. That's crazy. Yeah. No, no, that, no, sorry about that. No, no, oh, 17. Yeah, 26, uh, yeah, it will, my God, $11. Yeah, even five years ago, eleven dollars to three oh six. Oh my god, unreal. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, up at uh, 12. You get the Nasdaq uh, down 248. S&Ps are off uh, 26. We go. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, the NDX 100 and see what's driving that NDX out here today. Uh, so on the way, putting positive into it, you get uh, JD.com is up 1.7%. You get Generon up 1.6. You get Walgreens Boots up 1.2. And you get Kraft Heinz up 1%. Taken away from it, Peloton down 11.5%. You got Mercado Libre off 6%. You get Splunk off 55 and you get Tesla off 55 Um, uh, Pretty wild. Some of the other higher volume equities out here. This gets kind of interesting. Um, you get um, Apple's flat, but you get Lucid's down to $7.5. That's a big number, man. I mean, uh, that, that wipes off, you know, saying it wipes off. Uh, let me, let's, let's look at this one here. Because I believe, so let's see. So this... The low for the year is six, oh, nine dollars and eighty-four cents. The high sixty-four. And let's see the issue information. Oh, I see. Okay, so this was a spark. This was a spark that went out at ten dollars. And revenue-wise, they they took in two hundred and thirty-two thousand last quarter. Okay, so wow. Okay, check this out, man. This is an ABC down, and it's a monster. Okay, so let's see. A is 56. B is 38. 18 bucks. C, so it's 30 bucks. $29, actually. And $28 where it broke out from. It's going to the breakout area. No volume, no... So, so check this out, folks. This is going to be pretty cool, actually. So... You want to take a look at this equity down at this, if this is where it goes, that $28 level. Uh, the reason being is that the volume's not bad up at the highs. Well, you can see when it tested it, it tested with light volume. First, it, you had the high out here that would have had uh, 198 million. Then you got the test with 130. Then you got the test with 92, and then it gave it up in spades. Yeah, see what happens when it gets down into those lower levels, man. Um, let's go take a look at Apple. We know what that number is on Apple. It's, yeah, it's teetering there, man. Apple's, Apple's been holding the market up for quite some time. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the small caps out here. That's a, see, okay, this, this market still wants higher price. These small caps are pulling back with light volume, man. See, see this, this is, this is, yeah. So picture. Wednesday, you, I mean, Tuesday, you go up by 44 million. 
Then we had the contraction. You, you, you go higher with 36 million yesterday. But see this 23 million the way back? That's filling the gap. It's coming into monster volume. There's just not sellers here. The, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a nice little battle setup. Um, no doubt. Of the bulls and the bears. But when, I, when I'm looking at this market and I'm looking at where we are in the calendar, um, this looks to me like it's going to basically run right into the uh, end of this year. Because you got to remember something. The end of this year is not a long time away. Um, what it was with? It's the 9th or 10th today, right? Yeah, it's the 9th today. Um, yeah. I mean, we got a couple more weeks of trading and that's about it. Good old Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla out here. So if we take a look at Tesla. Tesla's backing down with light volume at 58 bucks. This wants to go fill the gap. The gap on Tesla is $910. And the last time we come down, we did uh, $950. But that gap is still wide open. The top of the gap was $944. So it didn't even, well, it almost got to the top of the gap. And that's, that's what they do quite a bit. They go to the top of the gap. That's support. The bottom of the gap is support also. Um, I suspect that's where this baby wants to go. Now, let's go take a look at a few of the banks out here. So you get J.P. Morgan sideways move that's in a consolidation bank of america bac uh, you know i i just listened to um bank of america up 29 cents this is back to the breakout area yeah this looks like it's gonna make a run again for higher price um bloomberg folks okay you probably can google this okay and i i would google it and listen to it because it's really a good interview uh david weston did an interview with um Monaghan, uh, which is the CEO of uh, Bank of America. And the real cool thing about it was, wait to hear these numbers, man. This is unbelievable. So picture that we're still in a pandemic, but yet he was explaining that the numbers at Bank of America. So picture this. We're going to talk here about credit cards, about accounts opened, and about how much money we have in the bank. Now, this is only going to be as to what is happening in Bank of America. But during that interview, his take was that this is happening at all the banks, okay? And the, there's a couple takeaways that are, like, huge. One of them is that the amount of money in the account, so picture this, that, well, well first off, we are spending 20% more, 2-0 percentage, 20% more than we did in 2019 before the pandemic, Okay. That's one metric. Another metric is that if before the pandemic they had $1,000 in the bank, a client, now they have 5000 in the bank, and they're still spending money. So they have five times the amount of money. He used the example of $1,000. So that, I have to stick with that. It's not that 10000 to fifty. It was 1000 to 5000 was in the bank. And, you know, he, he explained, yeah, it can be assistance money. It can be, you know, that you didn't have to pay for your college education, loans, uh, or they didn't have to pay for them, that they got pushed off. Bottom line, same type of deal. And so he was explaining that he sees 2022 as still, you know, a very good year. And, you know, because the bottom line is that the bank accounts themselves are flush with money. Now, listen to this metric. This is unbelievable. It's because Bank of America, oh, here, let's go see. Because Bank of America is like huge, man. So the personal accounts at Bank of America, let me see what this is. Okay, so they have 209,000 employees. Um, they take in 90 billion, 22, yeah, 22 to 23 billion a year. Um, he was talking about the amount of new checking accounts, <laughs> they're running at 20% a year right now over what they did pre-pandemic. Those are monster numbers, folks. And as soon as I heard the 20%, it seems to me that that's where we're running. You know, I've mentioned many times the 23 to 30% in inflation. That's where my, my take is that that's where we're in right now. And, and, and it good, too. Um, you know, that's that's how this baby, um, that's where it seems like, I mean, 
if all this money is out here, well, we know it is. I mean, the, the bottom line is that he knows what the balances are inside the banks. So you have all the money there. There's not enough goods to buy. And what that means, okay, um, <laughs> now the, 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 the customers are opening the accounts. Um, the, the bottom line is that, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what inflation is. Inflation is when there's more money chasing not enough goods. Dow, Dow Industrial is up four. NASDAQ is down 257. S&P's off 27. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 13. NASDAQ is uh, down 247. You get the S&Ps off 25. Let's go take a look at the uh, silver contract out here. So silver is trading down at 44 cents today. You have uh, 55,000 contracts traded. Okay, so let's take a look here. So you're breaking a swing. It's 65,000. So this is like a this is a vicious close call. Uh, but the bottom line is that when when you have you know you, you really need more 65,000 to do an ABC structure on the way down. So you, that's 55. Um, it's, you, You've done 55, you're going into 65. And, you know, this is still a little dangerous for sure. This is saying that uh, 21 uh, 46 is game. 
Now, we got to do the numbers on this anyway, just so we want to see. So 2550, that's like, that's a big number, man. That's $3.25. If it is an ABC down, that's going to get you into 1950 if that's the case. Let me do this. Let me put this up. So what I'm doing here, folks, is this. Now I'm going to bring up the generic contract because because of the way that silver is trading there. So what silver had done, it, it took out a B point, took out a swing point. Um, yeah, it's going to go to the bottom. Look at that. So well, this is going to be trouble. If, if this is an ABC down, so... Then, then that's trouble in paradise because that's saying this thing can go down and say, look at that. See the breakout area is that $19 too. We'll see how this shakes out, man. That's, this could be a problem. That's, let, me, let me pull up the SLV. This is, now the SLV as well as the G, uh, GLD, those are pretty good indicators as that we have. Okay, so now we're coming down with tremendously lighter volume. You're, you're talking about, so watch me look at this. This is, this is a decent indication, too, because uh, I've been doing this one a long time, meaning the consistency. I, I know what the consistency is of it. 20 million shares you're coming down on. You're going into 22, but the, the B point is really 41, and then the low is 56. Yeah, so you're, you're pulling back on light volume, and it's not an ABC structure on the way down. That's how I, I'd read that baby uh, right now. What? Let me see here. Because I think it's AMD. There's one of these that are down like six or seven dollars. It's another chip company. So there it is, AMD. Let me let's see what's happening here. So you get AMD down six bucks. The low for the year seventy two. The high is one sixty four. You're at one thirty eight right now. Okay, so that's coming down to test its swing point too. This this market is building cause for lower price. I just don't see it going right now. That, this, is, this is what does happen in order to break down. Uh, you know, you, you, like AMD got down to a price point of 134, 66 million shares traded, bounced yesterday with 40 million. Uh, you're coming down again with 45. That's saying it'll go after the lows of Monday, and I'll see if it can handle it. Uh, that being said, that it's choppy enough that you're going to see these big swings in, inside the marketplace, as well as that SMHs, because we know that the NDX brings the NASDAQ up and it brings the NASDAQ down. The, you know, if, if you, you take the aspect of it, I always look at the aspect is that you have the NDX 100 first, that get, drives the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ drives everything else. That's what it seems like. Um, Tom, could you, let's see, give us a pin in about gold and silver are not, given that the government is printing and spending big money, inflation is raging. I just don't get it. Yeah. Okay, so the, uh, one of the targets just asked me for an opinion that, you know, inflation's raging, and gold and silver really hasn't done anything. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, and I don't know. <laughs> I, would, I would love to say that, yeah, you know, guess what? But I can tell you this, that the, in the aspects of big moves, they normally don't move until they move, and then it's always too late to get in, you know. And we'll see how this works with gold and silver. And what I mean specifically is this, is that, you know, it, you could lay around here, you could go up for a month, two months, whatever. We get up into the 18, the 1825 number. Uh, if that's what you get, what you're going to see is the, uh, the equities, of course, will, will get to higher price. And some of these equities have got up and they've got pretty good. Um, and then they just take off. You know, so we'll see. Let's go to our man Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How you been? It's been a good year. It's had some real highs and some real lows. Um, a real high was my son being married. Oh, Finally, congratulations. To get, thank you. I'm all the son Shane. Got married. It's supposed to get married in 2020, but with the pandemic, he had to put it off until okay. this year. But it was able to do it. And then the real low, unfortunately, was uh, my wife, Leanne. Her brother passed away suddenly um, about, oh, it's been less than a month ago now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Man. 
And what? a neighbor find him on the sidewalk. Uh, and we still don't know exactly what happened. I don't know if he passed out and hit his head on the concrete and an aneurysm. I'm not sure what it was. But wow. Yeah. He kind of came out of nowhere and, and uh, unfortunately left uh, a wife and twin daughters that are like 12. So oh. it's uh, kind of a, definitely a bummer. But And it's hard because that's her only sibling. It, it was her brother. So uh. Uh, you know, it, 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 yeah, it's it's so tough, man. Like this whole life thing, folks. Okay, you know, it's like, how does it work, man? One second you're here, the next second you're not here, and like, what the heck is the world gonna do without you, man? I mean, seriously, it's like, it's it's just it's a it's you know, if you, it's almost something you can't think too much about because it's like, you know, it can get pretty like flipped out, <laughs> um, but. It's, it's, I just try to make the most of every day myself, and I, I'll never change that, whatever happens. But yes. Just, uh, when something like this happens, a, though. It puts it in a different perspective. You guys will do, it. yeah, you will definitely do things a little bit differently. I mean, we all do. When something like, when someone, what, what I've seen is this. When someone is so close to you and this happens, you know, we, we all kind of say that, yeah, you know, we, we know it's coming and we, we're going to make sure that we do what we want to do when we want to do it and all this. But when it's closer, you you do it. That's what I've, I've seen more than anything. But you, you should. That's the, that's the other side of it. You know, if, if this pandemic showed us anything, folks, the bottom line is that, you know, you, you sit back, people are wondering why, you know, people are changing. Well, they're changing because they had time to think. They, they were, you know, they got, they got off that treadmill for a bit and they time to think as, as to what they want to do. And, you know, you should basically think that through and then do what you want to do because it's like, okay, man, you're going to be here. You're here one second and then you're gone. And it's like, okay, and that, that's it. You're not going to, rem you're not going to worry about how much money you have. You're not going to worry about anything, you know, when you, when you, you know, when something like this happens, man. Hey, just stay right there, Brent, and we'll go through this uh, equity uh, as soon as we come back. D okay, thank you. Uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading uh, up 52. You get the Nasdaq down 245. S&P's uh, down 24. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up by 59. You get the Nasdaq down 230. S&Ps are uh, down 21. We're talking with our man Brent from Martinez, California, and we're going to be looking at a steel company in Brazil. So let's take a look at this. So the low is $4. The high is 726 uh, This company here, let's see, takes in $76 billion this year. They think of a 72 next year. So do we own this or are we looking to buy it, Brent? I do own it. I, I talked to uh, Steve yesterday just on the technical aspect of things, but I was hoping he could look at it fundamentally. In my mind, it's pretty reasonable stock. I mean, it pays a very nice dividend. It just paid a special dividend. Uh, paid out back in November of $0.29 cents in addition to the normal dividend it pays. And it just seemed like valuation-wise it was, Pretty, you know, still reasonably priced. But I just want to get your thoughts on Look that. Look at that, man. Okay, so they're talking about a gross yield of twenty percent dividend. Wow, right? That's that's what I have here. So the, you know what gets so intriguing about this? So listen to this, man. This is crazy. Um, I, well, first off, yes, I'd stay right where you are. Okay, I happen to know something just anecdotally about what's happening with steel in Brazil right now. Now, this is not a huge, well, I, I don't know. We'll see how this shakes out. The, what you have happening is this, is that the, there's a lot of companies that are moving from China. Well, it, let's say if they're not even moving from China. Like, I, I, I do enough business in China, okay? I happen to know a lot of light steel manufacturers in China. And what has happened, folks, is that when you do light steel manufacturing, what it is is this. It's, there's, there's these machines. It, it, it's so simple you wouldn't believe it, okay? They're, they're, it, the technology behind it is really cool, and the technology can be moved very quickly. And that is happening right now because for twofold. It's happening. Um, it started when the TAFs came on, when Trump put the TAFs on a year and a half ago, okay? That all of a sudden people realized that, and I'm talking about even the mainland Chinese um, folks that own these light steel companies, okay, have been moving them to Brazil because a lot of Brazilians in China are also. And um, so what ends up happening is that once the factories moved, particularly if you do the business in North America and South America, uh, you're not dealing with the chaffs. You're not dealing with, you know, worrying about are you going to get the product and all, all the rest of this. So I know that they're moving down there because me and a guy that I do a lot of business with, we're actually thinking of opening another one. Um, you know, so I'd stay there because what that means, see, the reason that it would be Brazil also is, you know, you do have lay, a, a full labor force. You, it's a first world country. You get a lot of technology. But they have all the iron ore too, man. <laughs> so it's it, you know what I'm saying. Normally, what, ends, what has always happened, well, it will still happen. Is the iron ore comes out of um, Australia and comes out of Brazil, folks? Okay, and goes to China. Well, if you open the light steel factories in in Brazil, and there's so much land in Brazil, it's insane. Then all of a sudden, you get the, the iron ore there, the factories there. You're not paying the tariffs, and the, you you know. So when I look at it, that aspect, Brent, it's like okay, hello, they're gonna the steel companies are going to get busier. That's what it seems like. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'd stay right there, man. 
Yeah, I think it's an intriguing company. I, I like it so far. I've, I've been in it for a while. I'm in around 450, so I've got a bit of a cushion. I, I have it as a longer term hold. I have shares, and I do have some options on it as well. Well, yeah, when you're in the 450 and you get a 20% uh, dividend, man, <laughs> that that works. <laughs> Period. I have a lot of shares. And kind of, I think I'm up like, I don't know, I already have like 500 additional shares just since I've been in it. So that's, uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, thank you so much. Okay, Tom, man, you, you have, have a great America, one and a America safe Christmas one. And, and tell I... your wife, I'm, you know, I'm really sorry, man. Well, the tigers and tigresses, we'll tell her. We'll just send a lot of good white light out to her, a lot of prayers. Um, that's what you need. Period. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't I'm even stand that deal. And there's a lot of family and friends around, so it, it'll yeah, all, which is crucial. Time, it'll, it'll get easier. All right, there's no doubt. It's all crucial. Right. Okay, right, man. Take care, have a, Tom. Just have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. You also. Can you believe right. it, folks? Christmas right. is right here, right now. I mean, this is like crazy. No, it's it's good. That's the bottom line. It's it's all good. Um. That steel company, the ticket was GGB. GGB. Let me see this. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it's GGB. The low for the is four dollars and sixteen cents. The high seven twenty six. Uh, as I said, uh, Brent was saying they did it. I suspect that that twenty percent uh, that is up you see in the Bloomberg is a special dividend. That's what I suspect it was because he had said it was a special dividend that was in there also. Okay, so let's go take a look at. Uh, I want to go look inside the Dow Industrial well, first. Let's put the Dow up. Okay, so the Dow went to a higher price today. It's going to have light volume, I suspect. No. Okay, so this, uh, it's only, right now it's only 533 million, but we get still 12 minutes. It, it'll, it'll do eight or 900 million. That's what, it'll, what it'll, more than likely it'll end up doing. So let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow today. Point wise, what we have is that you have United Health putting 31 positive points, uh, McDonald's 20, Visa 16, Honeywell 15, taken away from it, Boeing minus 22, Nike minus 10, Salesforce minus 10. So there's not a lot there, meaning um, there's not a, there's not a lot of selling inside that Dow Industrial. As well, you're up 65 bucks bucks right now, but there's definitely not a lot of selling. Now let's go take a look at. Uh, Good old, well, actually, come in to close Microsoft. I want to look at. We, we already looked at Apple. Microsoft, yes, there's no buyers on Microsoft. Look at this. Look at this in Microsoft. So, Microsoft got over the highs of the last two days, but look at this how it did it. So, the high of Tuesday was 335.80. You did 31 million shares, right? Yesterday, we did 24 million. You see this 15 million today? Yeah. This, this market can stay up here for a while, folks, okay? But when you see a contraction on a Microsoft with 15 million versus 31 versus going downtown with 41, yeah, this, this wants lower price. And it should want lower price, you know? When the CEO and chairman of the board, Nadella, sells 50% of his position, you got to understand that, you know, you don't run a Fortune 500 company, folks, and not know what's going to be happening in a year from now. It just doesn't, you know, I mean, they're that far out. They definitely are always pushing for quarter by quarter, uh, you know, in order to basically keep Wall Street happy. But, you know, you, you, they have a decent understanding, let's put it this way, of where they may be that far out because what ends up happening of course is that the it's the amount of product that they have the amount of people that they have to push the product and they have a a, a decent idea about um how many people actually want their product and that that's that's a whole different ball game dow dow industrials right now up 51 we get the nasdaq down 228 s&p's are down 22 stay right there folks come right back
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in saint petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And so if you're watching Tiger TV, I got Apple up. And what I did is that I just was looking for insiders selling. But in Apple, there's really not. You know, you have uh, right here, we got uh, Mistrata Luca sold 165000 October 19th. November 1st, you got uh, Adam, Catherine Adams, uh, Tim Cook, bottom line, and Last time, well, that doesn't have here. Then it sold anything this year at all. Now let's do this with Tesla TSLA. This will be a whole different ball game. So, so we put Tesla up. Look at this. Okay, so it's just Elon Musk. So Elon, he's already sold 1.1 million shares. Um, no, that's that's a that's weird. This is not right, man. This is interesting. This is saying, this is saying that he just bought 1.1 million shares on December 2nd. It's probably, I suspect what this is, is that is the aspect of those options that he's exercising. But I'm, I'm surprised here. Yeah, let's do it this way, PHDC. So, and then do it security ownership. And I bet it's going to be a different number. Yeah, okay. So one of the Tigers, Jeff from New York, also saw the same thing. Let me find Elon here. Come on, where are you? Come on, i got to be quicker than this. He's my... Oh, must, oh, there it is. Okay, so that's strange, man. Yeah. So, so Elon definitely has something going for himself. 
because even on the filings, we know that he's selling. And when you look at this filing here, something's wrong. I'll email, I'm going to email uh, Bloomberg as soon as I get off, find out what's going on there. Because when you look at that, it looks like he's buying versus selling. Yeah, exercise two point, my, my son Tommy told me, he exercised 2.1 million options, sold 1 million shares. Oh my God. Yeah, he's a seller. He's a big seller, folks. Selling the money, putting it in his pocket. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Go get him, folks. Building wealth trade.